There we go. Sort of there. Perfect. Perfect. Where's that cord going? There it is. Can come over here. And perfect. All right, that's all sorted there. Fantastic, that's all sorted there. Fantastic. Is that working? Oh, let me just adjust that a little bit. Now we're talking to it. Now we're talking to it. Bang. Okay, sun and dust it there. And then, might angle this off a little bit here. There we are. And that's all good there. Cool, cool, cool. That's all good there. Cool, cool, cool. And we're all done and dusted. I think we're all sitting high and mighty. All right, guys. Hope the sound's got tons of clarity. And I've got some paints to be working with today. Just here. Voila. A fantastic little palette of all the little colors we want to be working with. Very fun. All right, let's get started. What is the first one gonna be? Let's get on the iPad. Without you, my life's... Ooh, the iPad's done an update. It's niggly. 17.1.1. Share, why would I share that? That's a question. There we go, continue. Continue. We're a couple back. Very exciting. Okay. Oh, Leilani. I'm so sorry. I am well behind. But um, I was with the frame doing a few bits and pieces. But thank you for chasing up with me. Um, it is a priority, Leilani. I am sorry. I am sorry. You're a champion, Leilani. I appreciate your patience there. Now... I want to show you this too, guys. I bought two new brushes. So we've had this one for a while. This is a great one, but it's, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's getting some age on it, but uh, I've got these other two now, which are matches. So we've got a whole collection. How long does it usually take, Naya? It's actually changing at the moment. I used to have those times quite well down packed. I used to know very, very clearly how much time I needed. But as I've started dabbling in some new kinds of uh, ways to use egg tempera paint, I found the amount of time I need changing. And uh, that's been quite interesting. So I think we are in line for some more changes. Now, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Just a teeny tiny bit of this potent, potent paint. And then I have this jar here. This is my egg tempera. Voila, under the lid here. I'm just gonna put a bit of that in there. How much? That's plenty. All right. We're using first up if anyone's been here before, they'll guess this straight off the bat. First up, we're using Aqua Ultra Marine. That's the plan. Ultra Marine. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, 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 if we can't get some of that uh, color onto this canvas in a fun way. Okay. Ultramarine, baby. Let's slap it around here a little bit. Yeah, you can have some fun with this color. That's the plan. You can have some fun with this color. A little bit of blue. 
just a little bit. The aquamarine goodness. That's what we're after. Far. Let's add a little bit more into it. Can't hurt. Coming on back. You know, I first started painting Jeepers. So painting was a little tacker, but um, as time went on, I uh, probably what got me into painting the most was a certain point in your life. You sort of, I think you spend a lot of your life trying to be what you think everyone wants you to be. And then you reach a certain point where you start prioritizing who you can be. And once you start doing that, and start trying to be who you can be, suddenly doors start opening for you. In quite a fun way. There we go. You realize all that effort you were putting in to be someone you thought everyone who you thought everyone wanted you to be was just not all that necessary. Not at all. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful colours on this landscape. Through here. Lovely. All right. Beautiful. Strong color. Might even tag up to a slightly bigger brush so I can really start to spread it over the surface. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. In terms of what I do with these paintings, I keep a few. I keep two inside my house. But a lot of these works that you see us working on here, these works are typically commission based. And since they're commission based, they don't stay here in the studio. They're here briefly for a fleeting moment, and then after that moment's completed, they're off to a home. Usually that home is private. It's not like a, uh, um, not usually businesses or galleries. Most of the work goes into private homes. And that's always fun. So, hey, yeah. Um, so that's always fun. But uh, I would like to build up a little bit more of a collection. So I'd have a few more pieces to uh, surround myself with rather than the numbers that I've currently got. Just a few more. Nothing too major. Nothing too major, just a few. Maybe like, I'd like to have about five to 10 pieces in my position at any one time. There we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna splash a bit more up around here. Get that eyebrow on there just a little bit thicker. Nice. And a few little marky marks.
Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, Jane, how we doing? Ooh, splash around a bit of this through here. Like I said, we're on that uh, ultramarine bandwagon at the moment. So we're just landing that color all over the show. Got a lot of pop to it. A lot of pop, which is really fun. I like a bit of pop to a bit of color. Lovely. Lovely. All right. All right, all right, all right. And one other thing you might have noticed too is I shaved the mustache off. So it's fun while it lasted, but now I'm back to clean shaven, which is vastly my preferred way to be. Ah, delightful. Delightful. We might need to add just a little bit of gouache paint through this, but we'll see how this goes. There we go. I'm gonna grab just a little bit less and a much, much smaller punnet and see where that takes me. Here we go. <laughs> Check that up there. Okie dokie. I think that's good. Let's grab a little bit of Blue, not the same blue, something ever so slightly lighter. A little bit of this, teeny bit of that, and we'll mix those in together. Get my potent, potent blue. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm doing good. We're just splashing around some detail on this painting. I've got a um, few new pigments here today, so we're playing with those. And uh, yeah, see how we go. Let's see how we go. Um, pigments pretty fun, pretty fun. They're much uh, more delicate than the usual ones that we use here. And so that's an element that I'm working with at the moment. And I don't know. I don't know. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get a little bit more in here. Okay, this is good. This is like great for that uh, finer detail. Very dark blue pigment. Bit up, bit up, dip up, da, dip up, dip up, doo dee. And incoming. There we go. Big sneeze, big sneeze. Let's get a bit more through here. There we go. And that comes over this eye here, flicks out there a little bit.
There we go. Ooh, yes. G'day, guys. Yes. Yes. The moustache is gone. The moustache is long gone. So it was fun while it lasted, but now the moustache has seen its day and has hit the track, sadly. Voila. Clear face. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But um, honestly, I don't miss it. I, a lot of the time when I was playing with it, I was just wishing it wasn't on my face. And now i have uh, finally free of it. So that's pretty cool. So now I, I can understand why people do get, I can understand why people do get mustaches, but uh, it's not my kettle of fish, in all honesty, guys. I uh, vastly prefer, vastly prefer the likes of uh, clean skin. Shame face, clean skin, easy. Yeah. <laughs> better without, better without, better without, yeah, I bet. There we go. All right, let's whack a bit of this through here, get a little bit more on here, and dabble this around here. So this is a much smaller brush than we're typically using. Much smaller. And as we start using it, we'll slowly break into the flow of how we want to add this paint on. Get a bit more creative, a bit more expressive, a bit more wild. And just slowly dabble these colors onto the surface with this delicate, delicate medium. I'll tell you what, one thing about egg tempera to get used to is how truly delicate it is. How gentle it goes on. You get used to that. When I preach it, ducks to have all. You ducks about it real nice. He says you better get to living. Better get to living right. There we go. Beautiful. Hello, how we doing? <laughs> yes, is gone. Is gone. Is gone. <laughs> Let's jump on here. Javel in here. Okay, so this is. And I talked about the story yesterday, but we're back to it now. Ultra, ultra, marine blue. Ultramarine blue, really, really fun color. Really, really fun. It's got a lot of punch to it. And I was yarning about it yesterday because I was talking about the story that goes with it. The fact that it was actually, they were awarding prizes for anyone who could actually synthesize it. And uh, it ended up being a Frenchman who did in like 1836. And when he did, when he did, they called it French Ultramarine. So if you've heard the name French Ultramarine, then you've, that's where the French part comes from. It was a French man. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get a little bit more of this blue. I'll tell you what, it is a beautiful color. And you're gonna start noticing a bit of detail popping out in a few areas because it is adding in that intense, Black, black, dark shade, dark tones, dark tones. It's adding a bit of that to the picture. And the fact that it's adding that in, oh, down to a knee. Take a knee, take it from me. Do, do, do. Swap to that medium size brush. I've got three sizes that I'm running with. Uh, small, medium, and large. You'd be like, well, of course, those are the usual three sizes, yeah. But usually, in the past, I've just run with large. Just large. And the reason I just ran with large is I thought, eh, right or wrongly, that I could get all the same things done. But the benefit of a little brush is you can get into spaces 
the large one can't work in. And because of that, you can capture detail that the large one can't. Now this sounds obvious, but uh, the etching effect from a large versus a small, it's very, very different. And so we can get these quick, rapid changes of direction that you can't do with a larger brush. So if you like a quick change of direction, you need something a little bit on the small side. <laughs> oh, hello team. Man, we got a crew here today. That's pretty fun. We got the whole crew. And uh, this is a pretty exciting one to be working on. This is a very, very cute couple. Like I said earlier though, guys, we're working with two things. Two things. We're working to capture love. And we're working to capture connection. So if we can get love and connection into the picture, we'll be away. Now, Leilani asked at the start of the session as well, if I'd got around to my commission forms. I know a few people have been waiting, and I'm sorry. I am well behind. I disappeared, I went MIA completely for a while, if you were around for that, because I went down to see my family. And uh, I, I wouldn't say I had a purge from social media, but I definitely disappeared, blah, 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 disappeared, disappeared for a, a while. And um, I kind of enjoyed that. Um, it's not that I'm addicted to social media or anything, but it was just nice to put everything down and just really look and spend time with your family. Like, um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay. There we go, let's dabble with a bit of that in there, and we'll come down here. Beautiful, a beautiful. Oh, click that. Da -dum -ba -da -dum -ba 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 what a did I did do da 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 do -de. Lovely. Okay. We are making good ground. And good day, Kara, how you doing? Um, <laughs> Kara's like, he hasn't got the mustaches anymore. We must give it to him. We must give him the mustache. I get it. I get it. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. All right. Let's throw around a bit more and see where this takes us. A little bit more through here. All right. I like where this face is sitting, to be honest. I'm liking this face. I think that uh, this face here is on its way. On its way. Is it there yet? Hmm. It's a question, but we don't want to add too much detail that we actually start um, worshipping the detail. You'd be like, what does he mean by worship the detail? I mean, when you start adding too much detail on, you start giving up on those crazy brush strokes and just favoring the fact that you can uh, see a face. And you start seeing a face, craving a face, and all you want is a face. And then after you've done that, kiss goodbye. You suddenly lose that wild, crazy element that's in the painting. And so that's a high risk thing that you can do there. And uh, honestly, I hate it when that happens. There we go. A little bit through there. Double a little bit under here. And a double scoop. Perfect. Now some more bright colours in there won't go harm. Won't go array. Whatever you want to say. Ah, oh, that's what happened. G'day Howard, how you doing? <laughs> Different emoji. That's fun. Get the starch back for a few. Yes, indeed. Indeed. And Howard, yes, long time no see. Long time no see, indeed. And who have we got here? Wee. We've, um, guys on. Guys, I've been doing a bit of experimenting. I've been doing a bit of experimenting. And you'll be like, every time you experiment, you break something. Because I do. Every time I touch technology, it breaks a little bit. Now, typically, over the last year or so, 
I've been streaming prolifically on TikTok. That's been my bread and butter. It's been what I do. I stream on TikTok and I try to share the process as authentically as I can, try and talk about it as I go, try and lay down layer upon layer upon layer. And uh, anyway, I've actually been spreading my wings a little bit. As you'll know, anyone in the last six months, I started getting way more active on Instagram. But uh, the big one at the moment that I'm looking at, looking at and wondering, is that something of interest to us? Is, 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 is a, a place, a place you may have heard of, a place you may not have heard of. If you're on it right now, looking at me, then you definitely have most likely heard of it. And it's a place called Bigu. And I reckon Bigu is pretty cool. It's much more confusing than the likes of TikTok. Much more confusing. But in terms of um, uh, a platform to stream onto, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Now let's get this brush out of here. Let's bring another color in here. Let's bring in... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You don't get white, which is wild. So we'll have to grab this one here. Okay. Let's open up this. Test tube down here. And um, a lighter color in there too. There we go. So we're using a mixture of pigments here. And now I'm just gonna dabble with the oh, bit of watercolor. Oh, far. Watercolor, sorry, a bit of gouache. Gouache is interesting. It's got a high amount of pigment. It's a little bit more matty. A little bit more matty. Um, so it wants to flatten off more. Here we go. And a little bit of blue. A lot of both. Perfect. I'm gonna wipe it off my hands. It's gonna dry out your fingers. That's a disaster. There we go. And then we want a little bit of this. There we go. Beautiful. Let me grab our favorite brush. Not our previous favorite brush, but our new favorite brush. Okay, mix this in. Mixer, mixer, mixer. Hooey. That's what I'm after. Okay. That's what I'm after. Beautiful. Kenny, I did. I did. For those who saw me recently, I had a mustache all through Movember, which is a New Zealand charity for supporting mental health, suicide awareness in New Zealand. I got a mustache for it. And I enjoyed the mustache, but uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm glad to see the back of it. I prefer, I think I prefer the effort of a clean shave. I think that's fair to say. That we can get really hung up on wondering what we can do with facial hair. And for some people, they really suit it in a bunch of different ways. But uh, for me, for me, I prefer a clean shave. That's just me. this into the hand here a little bit. Come on down through here. Streaks of paint. Bound down, down, a burning ring of fire. He goes up, 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 and the flames went higher. And he burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. There we go. Stroke that through there. And a little bit up here in the hair. Just a little bit. We're not going to overwhelm the space. 
This is just a little bit of light. Yeah, there we go. Just a few touches. We're not gonna overwhelm it. We've done an amazing job on this face. Now I wanna retain that, that wild, charismatic, crazy sort of image that we've captured, but I do wanna add in a few little cheeky highlights. I like that. I should be on my uh, CV, Sibgya. Black's a cheeky highlight. There we go. Yeah, through here just a little bit. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it gets mentioned. It gets mentioned and that's it. Um, it depends. When it comes to mental health, guys, it is correct to get frustrated at the idea of um, campaigns and things that say they raise awareness. And, um, but actually, typically, the biggest thing that can happen, like Mike King says about the Gumboot Friday, is that it's not about raising huge amounts of money, although it can help in some ways. It's actually about checking in on your friends, caring. And when you raise awareness for something, you don't just raise awareness for it, but you actually help society on a whole slowly make a transition and towards us realizing that it's okay and we actually do care. And once that happens, as youth grow up, they find it's actually cool to care. And when that happens, suddenly we get to a point where we don't just suddenly see change, but we look and finally notice that we have changed. And so, although awareness sometimes can be frustrating, it plays a key role in getting us the outcomes that we want. So, give awareness a little bit of love. <laughs> Awareness makes no difference at all. Well, I think maybe have a little bit more of a think about it and reevaluate it. I think you'll find that awareness is a potent, potent thing. Um, and if just by raising awareness, one person asks one of their friends how they're doing and spends a bit more time with them and considers how they might feel, then... Uh, the awareness didn't do any harm. And usually the measurement of how much success something has <laughs> is a question of asking how much harm did it cause? And if it caused no harm, but something happened, you'd have to maybe assume it had a positive impact. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So keep. Whoop, that's a little bit bright, I think. Yeah. Nessie, and with the right words. When you talk about it, you normalize it. When you talk about it, you normalize it. And this is true both for positive things and negative things. And so through conversation, and causing conversations and driving conversations, I think we can normalize this stuff. Not normalize the fact that it's happening. Normalizing the fact that we're not happy with it. Normalizing the fact that it's normal to feel the way you feel. And normalize the fact that if you do feel that way, we care. Someone cares. I think that is a pretty cool message. Because when you look at the stats on everyone, everyone goes through something at some point in their lives. Alrighty, tardy. Making good ground here. I can cut through there. Beautiful. 
I'm sorry to hear that, Jackson. Coming on down low. I think we've all. I think that's why uh, Movember is so important, actually, raising awareness for uh, mental health and uh, but it being um, mental health and even prostate cancer. We talk about losing people, suicide awareness, raising attention for these things. I think we can all actually look at our lives and. I think everyone's lost someone. And so I think when we hear about this stuff, we each think of our own example and think, yep. Yep, this matters. And that's a positive way to be. All right, coming on down. Coming on in. Um, the only problem was we were supposed to raise money too, but what ended up being the thing that came to pass was I couldn't get the uh, fundraising platform working in time. But uh, it would have been cool if we did. There we go. There we are. I'll just put this down here. Well, I'm painting down this very corner. Can I get a hooey? Ba-da, ba-da, do ba da da ba da ba do dee Okay. Spring some through here. Spring some down in here. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. One little plank glob at a time. Hey, Jude. Don't make it sad. Hey, Jude. That's just for people called Jude in the audience. If Jude and anyone else called Jude just into the chat, that's for you. The cookie duster. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Um, Shelby didn't mind it. She thought it was fetching. She thought it was fetching. But uh, it wasn't her personal favourite, I don't think. I think uh, the issue with it is, like, you can talk about, oh, they're cool to have this and that, or whatever. But the reality of the situation is that it is itchy. That's irrefutable. And so if we're dealing with something that's itchy, it can be a little bit niggly when you don't want to be itched. So, everything has its place. Hello. <laughs> Coming on down. God, the Beatles were masters. You know, I've thought a lot about that movie yesterday. Not the movie, not a movie thinking about it yesterday. A movie called Yesterday, which um, basically puts a character in a parallel world 
Not exactly like that, but he ends up in a, in a parallel universe where the Beatles don't exist. And in this parallel universe where the Beatles don't exist, it doesn't really go into <laughs> the science behind that, which I appreciate, because it's probably very confusing. Um, or rife with inaccuracies. Um, but uh, anyway, in that universe, he becomes a star, singing the songs of the Beatles. Can you hear them singing the songs, singing the songs of angry men? Not like Miz, the Beatles. And uh, he becomes a superstar. And the question that gets posed is, do we think someone becomes a superstar if they know the songs of the Beatles when no one else does? Or are they just another artist? And is timing a massive part of it? I would say, no, the Beatles will have always been famous. Like demonstrated in the movie. Hmm. Is that correct? Because when we talk about the likes of, say, um, uh, Red, Hot Ch uh, sorry, Red Hot Chili Peppers, they are very fast to say that actually they don't really believe that they had anything special over and above the other bands that they were competing with in the space at the time. They felt more like everyone had a reasonable shot. And they just happened to rise to the top by luck. Well, that's an interesting situation. And maybe it's different for each creator. I mean, the other thing too is Monet. If Monet was alive today, would he be important? Or would he just be another painter? I wouldn't mind leaping on a Monet stream. I reckon that'd be pretty fun. Who would watch Monet paint live? <laughs> Here we go. What a time. I think, yeah, talent, mass appeal, and luck. Is that what it comes down to? I had a little uh, saying, saying, I had a little thing that I'd do in um, university and uh, when I was studying art history, and I would actually have a three-stage thing that I'd apply to artists, fairly similar to that, that would help me figure out whether they were the business or not. And when I'd say that, I mean, without knowing the fame of the artist, just by being shown their pictures, I could figure out if they were going to be famous to reasonable accuracy. This was typically done with painting. So the first step out of the three steps was attention. Did the artwork grab your attention? This can be done through complexity that pulls you into it. This can be done through um, color bright, vibrant color, size, oh, look at that. You know, all these factors can pull you in and take your attention. So the attention is the first filter it has to go through. It has to at least grab some of your attention to be noticed in the first instinct. And then from there, the next step is connection. After it gets your attention, does it connect with you? And when I say that, when the artist made the work, the emotions that he tried to trans he or, he or she tried to transpose onto the surface, the movements, the creativity, the story, can you connect with it as you look at the artwork? Do you feel a little bit of it? And if you do, if you do, if it's got good connection, you'll keep it around, you'll like it, you'll keep looking at it, you'll keep enjoying it. Okay, so you start with attention. It has to pass through that funnel. You then go to connection. Um, Nessie, that's a good question, good marketing. Mm. Nah, iPhones are great, iPhones have great marketing, but are they the best product? Are they the be all end all thing? I wouldn't, uh, sorry, because of their, sorry, iPhones have good marketing, but are they just great because they're good marketing, or is it a great product? You have to marry them both together. 
you can't have great marketing without an actual product. That was Fire Festival. There's a documentary on that. You need a product. <laughs> um, so sorry, attention. It's the first funnel. Without that, nothing can happen. And then the next funnel is connection. So after it's grabbed your attention, can it connect with you? The third and final funnel is Easter eggs. Ongoing rewards. I say Easter eggs, kind of like a gaming term, but ongoing rewards. So when we talk about ongoing rewards, do you continue to get value or continue to be rewarded for being around the painting for longer or being in its presence for longer? Um, keep it in your house every time you see it each day. Or did you look at it once, think that was nice, and then move on with your life? If it continues to reward you, if it continues to reward you, then what you're looking at is a painting that may, that may have what it takes to go the distance. And when I say reward, I mean, there's a couple of ways to do this. One way that the Renaissance period would do it, or giant old school perspective paintings and things, is you'd have so much detail iconography, symbolism, and moments that you just look into, and it would have all these little things captured within the work. And so you could keep looking at it and keep finding new bits of symbolism, new correlations, new elements in the composition and the, the, the um, perspective of the shot, and keep seeing more intrinsically amazing things. And now as time's ticked over by thousands of years, we can now look into it and understand the colors that they were using, how rare the colors were, therefore the portions of them they use, the brushes that they used, how they tried to use different techniques, how those techniques have changed in the last 2000 years, how they use certain supports, how we can preserve the artwork. This is a very, very rewarding process to go through for an art historian or even the public to listen to briefly. Um, and so that's that reward that comes from those ancient works. Now, in my art, for example, I don't use carefully finite, tiny little bits of detail everywhere. What I do that gives you that reward is the, um, the, the, the chaos in the brush strokes, overlapping, many, many layers, going in all directions, cascading into each other, all chaotic, but from a distance you see continuity. Because of that, because of that, Every time you look at it, you'll notice different brush strokes. You won't see symbolism, not often. You won't actually make out new shapes as such, but you'll see new moments, new little flicks and grabs, and every time you notice different colors flicking and grabbing in different ways, it changes your overall perspective on the entire painting. And so, as you keep looking at it, thousands and thousands of brush strokes, you'll see new brush strokes. And then as you remember more of those brush strokes, you'll forget the old ones and you'll be going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. The painting will continue to reward looking at it more. Um, yeah, and then connection, that's what we're doing right now. We're connecting. So when we talk about connection, how can you actually uh, feel the artwork? How can, you, how can the artwork feel you? How can you be touched by the artwork? Um, now, one way I do that is by not giving away completely to abstract styles. If I gave away the artwork completely to the realm of the abstract, I risk losing connection. And the reason I lose that is because there is a subject matter, something fundamental in the picture that you can connect to as a viewer. And so we can both rally around the chaos of paint the wild color palette and the primal rudimentary functions of the actual application of a liquid with a tool on a 2D surface through the idea that we're looking at a portrait of two people. That's so important. Without the two people there, we'd have to constantly question ourselves, are we actually crazy or are we doing the right thing? Um, but with the people, we're like, okay, there's people, but the paint's everywhere. It's crazy. And so we dance this little dance between what has been depicted and just outright chaos. And that's really, really fun. And then you've got the attention aspect. And with the attention, the attention in this art typically comes from, one of the big ones for me is color. If these were black and white pictures, the attention on it wouldn't be as great. But the raw rudimentary style on the paint, the way it looks messy and primal and crazy, jumps out at you expresses itself to you in a wild and crazy way and then and then yeah primal brush strokes and color that grabs attention like a big crazy mess i'm a big fan of that
Okay. Yeah, one thing I really like about this picture is that it does go a long way into glorifying our uh, characters. Um, I think sometimes with senior citizens, it can be challenging to, or people over the age of 40, when you're trying to capture their beautiful face, the evidence of smiles on their face, you know, and their, their posture and things, how can you get that while also making them noble and beautiful and, and capturing their character? And sometimes it can be very, very tough with like, um, especially, like these two are very young actually, um, but when you get someone in their sort of 80s or 90s, um, I don't think these two would be past. They would be, oh, I reckon they would be early 70s. If that, no, mid 60s, mid 60s, early mid 60s, I'm calling early mid 60s now, but when you get into the 90s, you're dealing with a very, very interesting face and to capture it, you need to capture all the elements of it, but to glorify that, it takes a very, very, um, it takes an interesting perspective from the artist's hand. Um, anyway, anyway, let's put some more colours on this. What is the next colour going to be? Do, 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 Let's grab a fresh brush. I do like these brushes, but uh, they do have a very, very wispy nature to them, which I kind of like, but uh, at the same time, oh, this is going to be a good colour. We're going to attack some teal. Turtle, 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 turtle. If you ever seen that movie, Master of Disguise, that's a movie and a half. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? The story behind this piece. That's a good question. No. So, I was doing a piece for Brandon. A family shot. I don't like to, I'll be honest, I don't like to divulge too much details until I have full permission. And I'm not sure I have full permission, so I'll tell you the basic story. I made a painting of a family, um, two lovely men and their two uh, children, one boy and one girl. And the boy, the girl had the cutest little hair and the biggest eyes, and the boy had the uh, a great little pair of sunglasses and he's just leaning forward. It was a very cute photo. It was a great photo. Um, anyway, we made the two shots and uh, the, 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 the painting. And now we're making a second shot. And I'd like to get it shipped, if I can, prior to Christmas. That's the plan. So, slashing around some wild paint on it. Actually, runs a wild paint on it. We can't force these things, guys. We can't demand they finish themselves. But what we can do, what we can do, is gently push it in the right direction to try and make the uh, picture. Come on. There we go. It's funny, the uh, difference between watercolour and gouache, difference between the two of them, is gouache is much thicker pigment particles. So it behaves very, very differently in that sense. But they do have similarities. It's a beautiful paint. It's lovely. This is going to be very, very, very fun to work with. Here we go. Let's slash a bit of this around. Let's slash a bit of this around. And it comes down through there. Coming up here. Have you heard about the lonesome loser? Beaten by the queen of hearts every time. Ba da do 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 La da dee da 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 Of a song. Oh, 
hearts lose Beam by the queen of hearts every time do 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 Hard to be beaten by the uh, queen of hearts every time. That's tough. Here we go. Beautiful. Then we're gonna sneak down. Oh, into here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's sneak over here a little bit. Uh uh. Uh -uh. Staring in my paper thin where the sun ain't got no end. Ooh, da 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 da. So this is Teal, and Teal's gonna be coming in here with a lot of punch. It's really gonna wanna jump off the canvas in the most beautiful of ways. Teal is just the most wonderful color. Shelby's favorite color, I think. Or it was. And it just has a habit, like, as you apply it, of just being so beautifully strong. There we go. Lovely. Now, I've put a bit of a uh, naughty. Because of the combination here, the paint is thickened ever so slightly. So we can get slight bits, slight bits of a more impasto feel into the work, and that'd be really, really cool. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Drying egg tempera. That's a good question. How long does it take egg tempera to dry fully? How long do you reckon? How long do you reckon? Egg tempera, it's a couple of stages. And the reason why a lot of things vary is because sometimes people try and confuse you. People do try and confuse you. Sometimes they say egg tempera, is um, butter being uh, uh, dry in 20 seconds. Sometimes they say 20 minutes, sometimes they say a few days. The answer is it changes a little bit because of how, the, um, how thick the paint is on the surface and whether you use more egg or water, the water needing to evaporate and the egg needing to coagulate. Now, in terms of making that work, um, so of course the ratio swaps it out. Let's say the ratio was 50-50. And let's also say, let's also say that the room isn't humid. If the room's humid, the water's not gonna evaporate, is it? So you need an environment that's not too hot. So to actually just about cook the egg, <laughs> it wouldn't cook the egg, but um, you don't want an environment that's too hot, but it needs to be quite dry. So it can suck the water out of the paint to allow the egg yolk to coagulate. That is important, important. There we go. How's that looking? Beautiful. Um, and so I'd say 20 minutes maximum to the touch. After 20 minutes, you should be able to touch it, definitely. And then after that 20 minutes, 18 hours is a good estimate. But I would say three days, team, three days. Three days until the paint is properly cured. I say 48 hours, which would be the maximum amount of time for the big chunks to cure, and then an extra day to be safe. That, that is what I reckon. There we go. Let's get a bit more over the shoulder here, and then in here. Nice. Beautiful. And then this one actually comes down in here. Let's get a bit more white in here. Warm up this teal color. Mm-hmm. 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 Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better stay young, girls. I'm telling you why. Santa, oh, it's too much. Claus is coming to town. Poof, put that down there and stir this up in here. Here we go. Mixy, mixy. Egg tempera is super interesting. 
as a medium. The only catch with it is it can be quite delicate. And so it's become a balancing act of trying to figure out how to make sure, how to make sure it's not as delicate in the end product. Hello, how are we doing, John? Good to have you here, mate. Coming up on Christmas, John was sending me some shots. His house is looking so ready. John, I haven't even got my tree up yet. Shocker. Thanks, Tara. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> is the egg yolk the base of the paint? Okay, so yes. The egg yolk is the base for the paint, yeah. For those who have their trees up already, congratulations. I am dragging the chain. Moments. But uh, I will do it. December 1st, tomorrow here in New Zealand. I will set up everything. It's going to be beautiful. And then once it's all up, anyone who's sent through their Christmas decorations, I promise I'll send you back mine. <laughs> Um, and I've been painting with egg tempera for a while. It's very different from the usual, the usual mediums. It's much, much more delicate, which is beautiful in its own right. The fragility of uh, egg tempera is part of its charm. But the other element to it too is you can protect it behind glass with different surfaces, etc. But actually, in some ways, it's kind of nice knowing that you have to almost care for it. In the same way that over the years people cared for uh, um, butter being the Last Supper. What a beautiful painting. We get to now look after Egg Tempura. There we go. Lovely. Let's get a bit more through here. All the way through here. And you were saying, uh, it's funny because John was just saying, thanks Jay for sharing the live. So I guess it doesn't give notifications that well on Instagram. It's funny because TikTok, oh, sorry, in, sorry, TikTok doesn't seem to be notifying. Instagram notifies everyone on the face of the planet immediately. It says, hey, woohoo. Instagram's all on. But uh, it seems like TikTok's, like, there's more like a soft start. Which is niggly, because you might be scrolling through TikTok, looking at a bunch of garbage. And then, not that what you're looking at is garbage, but it could be, is what I'm saying. And you sort of want to hang out with your holes and mates or community. I get that. Anyway. Anyway, that's been happening for like months now. <laughs> I wish um, with the platform too, you could actually set notifications just for like, um, like for the creators or the um, people I really enjoy. I'd like to be able to say, right, just tell me when this person, like there's a couple of artists I really like and I'd love to get a notification when just they go live. That would be pretty cool, I reckon. There we go. Splash this round. Lovely. Da 
La tu ti da da, la tu ti da. La ta 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 da, la ta 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 da. La pa ta tu da 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 da. I'm going to grab something quite wild here, guys. It was always fun to do later in the piece. Grab the big brush. Grab the big one. And let's... Sophia. Yeah. We've done background music before. But the problem with background music... Is that if I choose music for you... I sort of control the volume you can have it at. And you might be gaming. A lot of people actually, this is where I used to have background music, were like, ah, oh, can you not now? Because I'm trying to concentrate on my game, or I'm, you know, might be watching something on TV or studying, and I'd just prefer to have you talk when you talk. And then actually, if you're not saying anything, it can be quiet so I can focus on the other thing. And I'm like, you know what? I actually totally get where you're coming from. I respect that. <laughs> And so, that was back when I used to have music on Reddit, but um, TikTok, I sort, of, I sort of enjoy it. There's a therapy in the silence sometimes. Ooh, this is the sound of silence. You'd be rightly so, being like, he just said that... Uh, he, um, he just said that we're not allowed to have music on the stream. And then he started singing. So clearly there's music, but it has to be his voice. Hypocritical. Fair enough. <laughs> How's that top looking? It's coming together. And da 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 da. A thousand people, maybe more. Dun da 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 now, now it's stuck in my head. Look what you've done, guys. Look what you've done. Hope you're all proud of yourselves. You got Sound of Silence stuck in my head now. And I can't get it out. Um, sorry, guys. Um, do, 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 do you plan how many colors you would use before painting? Absolutely not. We just hammer them in there. We just start to attack it, add in a whole variety. Um, I usually try on the big paintings to land on about 50 pigments. Um, but if we start formulating a picture before that, Somewhere around the 20 to 30 pigments mark is totally fine. Five to 10 looks a bit skint. So um, yeah, this one here is probably about the 24, 26-ish mark at the moment. So that's a pretty good place to be. And I'm working full time now. Well, first off, Cheryl, congratulations on working full time. You absolute legend and totally fine. We just love to have you here when you are here, Cheryl. We are lucky to have you here when you're here. You're an absolute legend. And um, da, 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 not saying your voice is bad or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Sophia, totally get where you're coming from. Um, in terms of, for me, uh, I sometimes put an earphone on, which has music in it. And I'll tell you what I'm listening to or what playlist on Shopify it is. So if you want to match up, you can just join in. But it doesn't force you to listen to my music if you're not a big fan of it. I think that's pretty clever. <laughs> Cheers, John. You're an absolute legend, mate. Fest finale and Gold Coast. I, um, I missed the fest finale one because I was rabbiting on answering questions back up the chat, but I saw the Gold Coast. <laughs> um, I'm sending it to you now. You should play it for us. Um, I won't play music here right now, but... Uh, you're welcome to listen to it, and I'll listen to it after. And yes, Cheryl, your daughter did come on, and she's like, does Cheryl still moderate here? And I said, absolutely she does. We love her. She's on when she can, and she says, she's my mum. 
<laughs> Real sweet. She was lovely. Cheers, John. Um, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, you'll send it in the comments. Fair enough. You do you. Now, I am still in the process of working out what I'm doing for Christmas, guys. We're making the house look beautiful, obviously, like I say. We need to decorate that and get it all arranged. But the big thing that I haven't sorted out yet is we're tossing up between either being in the south or being in the north visiting my family or visiting Shelby's family or dividing and conquering. It's a hard one. Both my brothers are at home um, and we a baby on the way and Shelby's family want us. That's hard. When you bring another person into your life, you do welcome in the uh, um, element of maybe either creating a new family but also looking after your two old ones two old ones <laughs> actually making sure everyone's happy I know you Americans have it as well because you Americans put Thanksgiving as well so you've got two times the year to work with um, you have a very pretentious demeanor yeah I'm sorry about that although it may come off pretentious in this case I'm very very sorry and please know that I spend four to six hours on the hair every day and all I want to do is make sure your day's a little bit better. So, if you hang around, if you hang around, that'll be my intentions. But if you don't hang around, I'll totally understand too, and I won't hold it against you. Um, I'll tell you what though, Shelby does crack up when uh, someone's like, <laughs> selfish or pretentious or something like that. It's just not my style, guys. I'm from a farming family. It's not how I was raised. So, it just looks strange from watching a painter behave like an old school farmer. And that's because my parents are old school farmers. Even though, even though I hang out here and paint, your boy should be looking after sheep and cattle. Not that I should be. That was my upbringing. That's where I'm from, that's my raw beginnings. Um, sorry, coming on down here. Just Zoom both families. That actually, Nessie, yes. The fact that we can now talk to people remotely, like um, call them on Christmas day, you can connect so many family members and I love that. So regardless of what we do, we will be calling and uh, making sure everyone feels like a part of it. Orange, no, that's uh, the egg, that's the egg. Cheryl's girl's very artistic, so I told her to come watch you live. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, currently on the mend. Uh, yes, Cara, I do. You need farm content. It's funny, actually. Um, I did uh, post a farm video, um, but just a family of some pigs. I was down when I was away from social media for the last little while. I was, uh, I sent a video of the pigs eating some scraps. Family, I put a, I always put like funny sounds over the top and junk like that, but uh, I should really share it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Next time I take a funny video, guys, I'll share it. I promise you that. How's that sound? What's that doing there? Oh no. With me. I like to eat lobster directly from Maine. That was the song I put over it. There we go. Do 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 do. Shelby's doing fantastically. She's a happy girl. Happy girl. And all we need to do is just get prepared. Christmas shopping, guys. Who does Christmas shopping early? 
I tr some years I, op I honestly chop and change. Some years I'm prepared well out. Gifts bought like late November at the latest or like I'm already planning it and holding them come October. And then other times I'm so drastically unprepared it's not even funny. So this year is sort of a half and half. I can tell I've got some gifts really early, but I can see my psychology changing towards <laughs> not being, like, you know how you buy gifts too early and then you get yourself caught up thinking you're prepared and the time comes and you only did 30% of the job, but you did it in the first 5% of the time and now you've left it too late, even though you prepared early to start with, crack up. All right, that's enough of this color, I think. We'll jump on a smaller brush regardless. That's a very large brush team. So it's asking for trouble. Asking for trouble. <laughs> Christmas shopping the day before Christmas. It's like a Kiwi tradition. Here we go. Let's get down in here. Let's drop it down low. Oh, 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 to the floor. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Beautiful. Splash around. This is um, not pure white pigment. It's got a little bit of teal in it. That was intentional. But we are just going to play around with it. Build some detail into a few of these parts. Okay, and across the top. There we are. And then down through here. Beautiful. Lovely. So we're adding just these little highlights in here. They're not so much in pasto, but they're just going to help those environments pop out a little bit. That's important. Yeah, so I had to cover the window. <laughs> I had to cover the window behind me because the light was coming in too aggressively and so it was actually changing the entire painting over. It was actually Steve that pointed it out to me. Steve's like, yo, you're, uh, don't want to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> He used different words, but um, he's like, yo, you need to get that sorted. Um, you don't have to, but it's actually taking away from the painting a little bit. And I thought, yeah, actually, I see that. I see that. <coughs> but see, I didn't mind it while I was painting. But when I went back and watched a few of the replays, I was like, mm, I see exactly what Steve's talking about. This is, this is a problem, 100%. So nice to get that sorted. Nice to be on the correct path. The only pity of it is you don't get to see the fun background of things happening on the street. But the uh, other element there is that just tells me I need to get out and about more often. And I honestly, guys, if I was my own art mentor and I was going to provide myself some feedback and be like, yo, here's what you need to work on, um, I would tell myself that I'm spending too much time indoors. Because we did talk about that a lot, getting out there making art in the environment and bringing in a little bit of chaos. We're not welcoming in enough chaos right now. So that needs to start happening. Getting outside, getting a bit crazy and making art out there in the environment. There we go. A little strike there. So If you see me outside in the near future and I'm painting, you'll know Seb finally followed his own advice. There we go. A little bit more up here. 
Okay, these are the highlights on the face. There we go. Yeah, so see these whites coming in here? How for the first time we're starting to see the final composure coming into this face. The final little moments that make out gentleman what he is. And he, do, he does a two, two row of teeth smile. So he gets both rows of teeth out. That's what we were after. That's what we're after. And then we're gonna do a little bit around here. We're gonna just a little bit more loose with our brush as we capture these highlights. And tonight, tonight is Thursday night drinks. So it's a pretty exciting night for the crate. But I have got painting that needs to happen. I got paintings I want to make. I used to say I spend most of my time inside painting, making artwork. <laughs> maybe I should, uh, maybe as a kid I should have gone out more. But no, I like, I like where I have my priorities set. Here we go. I've certainly never regretted, this is a big one, I've never regretted a night I spent painting, but I have regretted nights I've spent out in town. Like, have you been out in town, if you're of that age, we've gone out and you've like been out there just stepping from foot to foot the whole time, and actually you're wishing that you stayed home? You're like, oh, what do I do with my hands? Why does every song sound the same? Like, and then like, as you get older, you get to the stage where you go out and you, and like, it's towards the end of your going out to like bars or clubs or if you ever did something like that. And you start being like, uh, you're like, what did I expect? I knew I hated this. <laughs> and instead of thinking that you're cool if you go out, you start realizing the ones who do go out are just not your type, they're uncool, it's not your thing. And um, if they don't think you're cool because you want to stay home and formulate some meaningful connections and hang out with some people, I'll be the uncool one. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Been trying to... Hey, Mason, how you doing? Pinnacle out tonight? Honestly, that's, that's the uh, bread and butter. That's the bread and butter. The very fact that everyone thinks, oh God, guys, the loudest voices usually in your youth are the ones screaming out about how great going out and partying is. And it's only once you get away from those voices and you start hearing your own voice and you think to yourself, some people actually formulate the thought, ah, oh, you know what? I really like tramping. I like nature. I like being out and about. Some people are like, hey, I have hobbies that I like that I don't need to be seriously drunk to do. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, there's some great places to be and some real fun to be had in some places in town or wherever. But thinking that's a must to have the best possible night, I don't know. Um, yeah. Clubs are great, so are the mountains. Yep, I feel that. And I will say this as well, a big part of it's the company you're with. Um, this plays a massive role in what you actually, what your end uh, feeling is on how things went. And every time I've had the best moments of my life, the best moments of my life, they haven't come in like where you thought they'd come from. They snuck up on you. And all of a sudden you're in it, if that makes sense, like, yeah. You go out for a big night out, expecting it to be the best moment. And then it happens in a very, very different way. Here we go. Little highlights, guys. Here we are. Perfect, that, oh guys, we just made history on that face. Mountains over beach. Mason, you wildcat. 
can't do I agree? Mountains over beach, mountains over beach. 50-50, toss a coin. Can't do it, can't decide. Can't decide. So that's a really tough one. Um, coming on down here. I don't think I've ever been so cool and I'm owning it. All right. All right, you go, Nessie. I love your style. You be cool and you own it too. There we go. There we go. Um, one thing I'm liking too, guys, is the fact that this stream is a bit more established now. And what's cool about that is we don't need to do the same sales pitch. If you were here in the early days, Cheryl's, Victoria's, Jay Smith, you might remember me like being like, and if you want to connect more, the links are in the bio and things like that. Now we can be far more relaxed. We could have before, I reckon, but uh, I think when you're starting off, you're not quite sure. You know, when you're, I was very nervous when I first started streaming. It was terrifying for me. Um, I didn't like to speak. I have music in the background um, and I'd be quiet and listen to music and I'd just be like, use that to find my rhythm in the spot. And it worked. Don't get me wrong, it worked, but it wasn't for me. Um, it wasn't the real me. You were joining in an environment that I'd created. You weren't coming into a room like... I think the real art is entering the room in a candid sense. And so you know that this is the environment, regardless of who's here. This is what it looks like to make art. This is what the thought process is. This is the grungy, real, wild, chaotic, sometimes forward, backward process of making a picture. And I think there's beauty in that. Um, I feel like <laughs> it would feel like an infomercial, I reckon, if we went back to that. You know, just like, if we want to connect more, you can find me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It's not the... Uh... You know when you're watching a really good movie? Who uh, When TV shows, you watch them on TV at a certain time a week. I used to watch The Mentalist. Loved that show with Patrick Jane. That was my bread and butter. Anyway, if you used to watch The Mentalist... You'd be like hard into the story and they'd choose just the right moment to throw an ad at you. And then all of a sudden, you'd be watching a Briscoe's cleaning commercial. Wondering how you got here. Always wild. Here we go. There we are. Devil this around a few little spots. But I kind of like, do I like it more now without the ads? I don't know, did the ads add charm, guys? Did you find charm in the ads or were they annoying? I forget, but uh, I, think I, I think I felt charm in them. I think I did. It's hard to remember now. All right, let's get a little more in here. Let's get a little bit more down here. All right. Okay. Guys, I'm going to cancel the... Not the stream we're doing here. Between us. I've got a... Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to the folks on Bigu. Bigu is going on the pause. So... I'll catch you later, guys. If you want to keep watching, TikTok's the place you need to go. Um, there we go. And um, I was just experimenting, guys. Don't worry. I'm not bailing on you, I promise. I uh, have just been... I got told by a few folks to go try out on Bigu and see what it's like. Um, anyway, I'm just getting this set up now. This there, this there, this there, perfect. Because what we'll do is we might start a new work and on the new work, we'll um, take some little videos in between it being made. But we'll see, we'll see. 
Um, ooh, big drill. Let's fix that. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, team. Um, now, what I will do, though, is I'm going to bring you guys over a little bit. Don't get motion sickness. Don't get motion sickness. And I'll always remember you like a child girl. You know I've seen a lot of what the world can do. And it's breaking my heart in two. Did that improve it? I was trying to give you a better angle there. And I've got this little screen here. Let's get the comments on. So I'm gonna put that over here, just out of the shot. And then I'm gonna twist it around like this. Perfect. All right. Okay. We got artwork. It's really coming together. More colors through here, actually. This area here, the color I really need is some indigo. Indigo is gonna be our lifesaver here. Indigo is our lifesaver. <sighs> ting, ting, ting. ba 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 ting, ting. ba 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 ting, ting. ba 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 ta to ting, 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 ting. Let's grab all our colors over here on the table. Voila. Yeah, so if I stand to the side here a little bit, there's a bit of character showing up in this picture. There's too many streaks through here though, this part through here. There's not that um, interest to actually stop in these areas and remain and just to just see the painting grow. Um, let me just zoom out here a little bit. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna spin you around. The reason I'm gonna do this guys is because a lot of phones scale it differently. There we go. Perfect. So that way there's a little bit on each side. Did that work well for you? Hopefully. Yum, 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 yum. A little bit of coffee, and there's my little screen. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Thalo blue, is that gonna be the color? I think it is, guys. Thalo blue, ultramarine. Are we just gonna keep hammering it with the same ones? Are we that boring? Nah, we'll chuck some burnt amber in there too. That's gonna to mix things up. Thalo blue, aquamarine, and we should be good. We'll kick off with burnt amber though. Burnt amber. Is there a little punnet? We do. Here we go. One little punnet. Take these home every night and wash them. It's always a fun activity. Shelby, it's furious at me. Not furious, she's very tolerant actually. Just a sink full of punnets. Is what it is guys, is what it is. All right. And the cool thing about this paint though is you wash it with cold water. Don't use hot water. Since it's emulsion, proteins and fats, oh, you didn't ask for it, but here's a lesson on stains. Okay, so it works the same for washing paint off containers, but when it comes to stains, don't, if it's protein or fat, with wine it's different. Wine you can put hot water on because it's pigment. It's pigment in, in water, suspended in water. But with proteins and fats like milk, dairy products, um, in this case egg, um, you'll actually cause the process to, uh, the, 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 the proteins and fats to coagulate and therefore coagulating, locking them onto the surface long term with the pigment. And that's why protein stains have this, this ugly sort of pigmentation to them. What I'm saying here is please, 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 please wash away anything that has proteins or fats in it or suspected to have it with, 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 um, God, I can't keep my trail of thought for a second. With cold water. Please. You don't have to, but uh, I would encourage it. And um, also, I didn't mention it before, guys. I had a really, really good meetup with a lovely, lovely individual. A fellow artist here in Auckland. 
if you saw the post on uh, uh, Instagram, I met up with a children's book artist called Ola. Ola. She um, is from Poland. Poland. And she illustrates children's books here in New Zealand. She came across with her partner. They've since broken up. And she came across with him and was just determined to be a children's bookmaker. And she worked on her art non-stop. She did tutorials on YouTube. She attacked it. She got better. She got better. She got better. She got a publisher. She now ships the books all over the world. She's um, mainly to the US. She's an incredible person. She's got a really interesting, unique style. She gets mentored by a few people. Um, crazy, crazy art story. Do, 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 do. Um, do, do, do. Who is he? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, he, it's a she. Her name's Alexa. Sorry, Alexandra. But in Poland, you say, um, you would say, Ola. So my brother's called Alexander, but we call him Alexander. But yeah, Ola. And anyway, meeting with her, it was, it was just to talk about art, talk about where she was at, where I was at, what we were doing, um, how we felt, um, and to connect. Like I say, art can be a lonely game, and it's really, really good to connect with other professionals and things, to get a better understanding of your craft. And um, they might have advice or want to talk. And she hadn't actually connected with all that many people. Um, when I say that, in New Zealand she has, obviously, but in the art world, not so much. And so it was a really, really cool opportunity for both of us to talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, and who we were trying to become as artists. Wouldn't trade that for the world. Um, I am a perfectionist. I am. And you'd look at this work and be like, um, you're crazy. No, no, I am a perfectionist. And actually, this work saved me. This work saved me because I seeked perfection so much that I strangled every work into something that you wouldn't even want to see. You wouldn't even want to see. And after doing that, after strangling work after work after work, through art school, through high school, after art school as a hobby, did I realize it's not about having a perfect result and even trying to strangle and hold on to it is only ruining the artwork. What I need to get hung up on and commit to and find is a process that makes me truly happy, which would be people like, oh, he's gonna say it again. If the process makes you truly happy and fulfilled, it's a perfect process. And I tried to pursue the result thinking if I found the perfect result, I'd be happy. But I was going the wrong way around it. It's the perfect process. If you start making art for you, through that art, you'll finally become happy. And then, you'll finally start getting the results that you thought you wanted. Once you realize they're not the fundamental thing that you need. But, I, I painted so much, guys. I thought I knew why I was making art. I thought I knew why I cared about art and things. It was just about me. It was just about me. I wanted to make art that everyone would love. I was so determined to do it. I was so caught up on possibly doing something that everyone would fall in love with. And I was so wrong. Because it was only once I actually started painting and destroying the art, painting over it each time, painting a canvas, painting it white, painting a canvas, painting it white, that I actually realized how much of a people pleaser I've become with my art and actually my real style was hiding just under the surface and I kept shoving it down deeper deeper and deeper and deeper because I didn't want I didn't want to do anything less than what I thought everyone else wanted to see and all the other people wanted to see was actually the real me that's all my friends and family wanted me to be happy. And I wanted to make art that would make them think I was cool. But you know what? Your brothers and sisters, mother and father, whoever you love, they are happy, provided you can tell them genuinely 
to their face, looking them in the eyes, that like, guys, I am so incredibly happy, all of a sudden, that's when everyone starts really liking what you're doing. Once you're truly happy. So, crazy long journey, wild journey to go on. But I'm here now, and I'm glad I get the opportunity to hang out here and share these paintings with you. Meet incredible people like Ola, doing her crazy art all the way from Poland. Crazy. I can't imagine moving to Poland and uh, doing that in reverse. Unbelievable, but anyway. She did it, and that's just the most incredible thing. Anyway, a bit more of this through here. There we go. And I, I, like it blonde. Every day I look across the office floor, there you are. Your head onto your legs and your legs down to the floor. Leggy blonde, goodbye, goodbye. Mm. I wish you knew how much I loved your legs and your hair. Leggy blonde, goodbye, goodbye. I'll never get, I'll never get to be with you. I'll never get to share another cup of tea with you. Leggy blonde, goodbye, goodbye. There we go. Probably, probably. There we go. I'm gonna put down the brown and let's pick up. Da 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 ding da do da 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 ding da do. Let's pick up another color. Let's go for. Need that popping blue. He needs that popping blue. He wants it. He needs it. There we go. A little bit here. You know I want ya. You know I need ya. You know I want ya. You know I need ya. All right. And then after this, after this poppy poppy color, we're gonna move on to our next little work. That's my plan. There we go. Splash it around through here. There we are. There we go. We might add just a little bit of this in. So I'm winding. So here, add just a little bit of white. There we go. Just a touch. Nothing earth shattering. And then put a little bit more blue to it. There we go. So we've got two kinds of blues. That's what we're after. So noisy out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I might be able to fix that, Vic. Do, 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 do. There we go. I did a little change. How's that? What I did was I turned down the receiver volume. So you should still be able to hear me, but I won't be so loud out there in the world.
There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then coming down low. Wow, there we go, beautiful. The hand here. Beautiful. Excuse me while I just get down to this corner, guys. Getting right in your way. Just get some more on the shirt. Okay. There we go. And then down through here. All right, we're going to pause there. Pause there on this one. Hooey! All right. Dun 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 dun. Oh no! Did someone say it was fake? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ed. <laughs> you can hear it, but now it's glitching. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Is it still glitching, or have we sorted out? Um, oh no, sorry guys, As um, yeah, I get a little bit caught up in my own little world, I should say on top of the uh, comments more, but uh, anyway, I think we lost it, it is what it is, it is what it is, um, yeah, so it's a really, really fun picture, it's a little bit crazy and wild, which is part of the charm, we've got lots of pigments in it, all splashing each over each other, going a wild bunch of different directions. And, um, it's noisy people just sound a bit choppy, but you sound great. Okay, that's good. Mason, this was a commission. Um, there we go. Thanks, Kiki. So, we're going to pause there, but we're not going to say it's done. I need to give it a stand down period, where you just let it sit for a little bit. I think we'll bring it back. I need another I need another color in the sky, but I just don't know what that is yet. My first instinct is to throw pink at it. I have pink in here already, but I always say that, throw pink at it. And I don't think that's the answer this time because that'll take away from the teal, balance it off, make the white stand out. The Naples yellow's in there, that would be my other port of call. But I think, I think, looking at it, Honestly, guys, a very, very subtle translucent green that matches this color to get that same continuity of landscape reflecting in the sky, possibly. But um, we're not qualified to decide yet. We need to give the painting a stand down period. We're on those vibes of the current colors we've added and we need to actually release ourselves from that. Look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. Violet's gone into it. Um, I'm going to wash the pigment off my hands. I'm going to come back. We're going to put a new canvas up. And then 
We're going to make some art. I'm quite excited. I'll leave this with you guys. Back in a moment.
Oh, jeepers. Sorry, guys. I got uh, dragged into a conversation for the longest time. Um, I went to wash my hands and uh, there was one of the guys at one of the other desks who uh, wanted to chin wag for so long, I forgot where I was and now I've come back. And then when I walked back into the room, I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm gonna be painting. So I put up this one, better get started. <laughs> you absolutely should have sent out a search party. I'm surprised it hadn't gone already. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, one quite crazy thing is we got a brand new funky idea. Oh, sorry. Chunky, how fast can you do commissions and ship in New Zealand? You're in New Zealand, so it's shipping's like three days. Commissions, sometimes they take six months and sometimes they take 24 hours. The longest the commission's taken me is seven and a half months. And that was... Um, one of my first commissions I sent to New York City and um, I just wanted to make it perfect. I kept grappling and changing and changing and changing. It was, oh my God, I wanted it to be perfect. And I will say, by the time I'd finished it, it was perfect. And I was, that's one of the most, most amazing works I've ever shipped to New York City. It was just incredible metal frame, heavy piece, heavy, but um, beautiful picture of Beethoven. Um, anyway. And yes, Robert, this place is awesome. Um, so what I was saying there was, 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 was. Um, yeah, ships to America. America's only about five, 10 days shipping anyway. So uh, if you have a print of it, I would love to see it. Actually, awkward thing, Chunky, it's before I started taking prints. So, um, like high definition photos. So I need to find her, the owner of the work, um, over in New York, take a picture of it, and then to sell prints and get her permission. Because it wasn't, um, I made her the artwork, but I always, even though the artist retains copyright in all the instances of commissions I make for the artwork that gets made, I do um, like to make sure the person who's a client is comfortable. And so there's situations like we do a lot of, like this one here of the couple we've just made, we won't turn that one into prints, for example, because it, there's a privacy factor for the people in the photo. And although we could do it, I want to make sure someone feels like, feels comfortable with it, basically. So, do, 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 do. let's get, let's get our new, Do 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 da 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 Yeah. Go on then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. All right, team. Same game. Who remembers this game? I'm not going to tell you about what I'm going to be painting until the first person guesses it. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. I'm going to really enjoy this. We're going to send you guys on a spin. Here we go. All right. Okay. Paint everywhere. Fantastic. Let's grab this punnet. Let's grab the big brush. This is going to be so much fun. 
Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's just put this camera up here. Excuse me, moi. People are like, oh, he's planning something. He's definitely planning something. And if you think I'm planning something, you're right. I am. Now let's uh, just bring that back there. Bring this down to here. Da 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 da. Um, ultra HD HD. There we go. There we are. Sorry, guys, just turning that on. Turning on a uh, live stream. What's next? Ooh. That was a loud clap, prepare yourselves, this is gonna be fun. Okay, big brush, flip, catch, good start, good start. Getting the paint, smooth it out, smooth it out. And we're gonna hit this one. <laughs> All right, remember the game? I love this game. First person that gets it, gets a point. We need to have some sort of prize, actually. Maybe that could be the thing, LJ. Maybe the game is first person to guess it gets a print. That could be the thing. How would you feel about that? How would you feel if the game was first person to guess the artwork gets a print? I'd have to make it like a little bit harder. You wouldn't want to guess it in the first couple of seconds. And I think I've done this one. Wonderfully. Oh my god, it looks so much like it already. I can't believe you guys haven't guessed it yet. <laughs> we won't do it with this one though, guys. We won't do it with this one, but I gotta make sure my game, at the moment, my ability to like trick you guys into what it might be has like been really limited. Like, you guys have been pulling me up on what it is almost immediately, every time. So this. This is my turn. This is my moment. Dun, 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 dun. La da da, da da da, da da. This is my moment. World looks green and blue. And the things da da da, la da. Ba da da, bum bum. Boom, 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 boom. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Oh my God, look at how great it's already turned out. I'm just about ready to call it finished. Okay, okay. Up through here, up through here. Cross through there, like that. All right, looking beautiful. How beautiful is that, guys? Oh, looks so good. Looks so accurate. Very dramatic, yeah, you bet. Art is a bunch of random streaks. Ugh, it's spot on. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta see, um, imagine it's like a caterpillar. If you saw a caterpillar and you knew what a good caterpillar looks like to become a butterfly, you're like, yeah, that's a good looking caterpillar. That's gonna make a good butterfly. This is no different. We're doing the same thing. We're looking for a good caterpillar and watching very carefully what we're doing when we do this. Because if we take our eyes off it, even for a second, we stand to ruin it. Lovely. There we go, get that in there. Run me out of paint, baby. That's what I want, just like that. You can see all around these edges. And then I want it up through here as well. Mmm. Lovely. That is falling together exactly, exactly as we planned for it. 
which is fantastic. Just a bit more down here. Give it to it. Oh yes. I'm gonna go up here too, right up to the top. Just like that, yes, through here and up through here. Right the way to the tippity toppy, toppity top, 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 top. All the way up. There we go. There we go. All right, see that drip there? That wasn't intentional. That was uh, a complete and utter mistake. Not a happy mistake, just absolute mistake. All right, we're done, what is it? Come on guys, poured my heart and soul into that. <laughs> um, okay, next color off the ranks. Here we go. Strong pigmentation coming in through here. Just through here. Lovely. We're gonna whack this up. You might hear a little fan going. And the reason you'll hear a fan going is I need to pull some of the moisture out of the air to make sure this paint dries at the pace I need it to dry to make this work. Remember, gold star for the person who can guess this first. Paper thin, where the sun ain't got no end. Beautiful. And then we're gonna come up through here. That's where I want to be. Just down through there. And just down there a little bit. And then coming around. Keep it coming. All the way down to the base. And then we're gonna come down in here. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Nice. And then. Ooh. There we go. Through there. Just through there. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. And then we're going to get a little bit. Yeah. There we go. This is such a pleasure to paint. This is a great picture to be painting. <laughs> Close. Do, 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 do. It looks amazing. Best work yet, I reckon. I have no clue what it is. A guy running, a scream, house in a tornado. I think we need a hint set. Canoe or river? On a river. Nah, nah. You guys have guessed me too many times so far, and I am going to live this up. The fact that I know what it is, and you guys don't. I guarantee, though, I guarantee, when I tell you what it is, you will recognize it immediately. So let me just grab some paint off the floor. There we go. There we go. That can go back up there. That's how we want it to look. Next color. White. Food, glorious food. We've got some blue here. It's not really the color we're after. I'm just gonna grab this. Let's give in the colors of screen. Yeah, a little bit. Bear in mind, I'll just open that up. We're gonna drop some of these little punnets that are finished into there, along with some of these rags, just to clean up the space a little bit. I've got this Eskimo thing here, and so as I complete bits of my stuff, I just drop it straight through the hole. It's really, really convenient. This one here, lid goes on there, and it goes. This one here, brown, I think we're done with brown team. Lid goes on, and once it goes in there, take it home, Wash it, bring it back the next day. That is the tactic. This one here, lid can go on here. Drop in. This one here, love this tool. We'll put this on the side here. And we get our paint brushes that we've used, and they go in it. 
And then once they're in there, we screw the lid on top, it keeps it safe. And we're done. They can go in there too. All right, come here, little paints. Come here, little paints. So a container here, that's the lid for our uh, egg. Best it probably stays there. Let's get this one. Unscrew that, drop that in there. We're in a good place. Do, 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 do. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Possibly, possibly. It might be everything, everywhere, all at once. Or it might be something completely different. This is the wilderness. Tell me, for the regulars, guys, do you like not knowing? Do you like knowing? Or is the change refreshing, but it's nice for the therapy of just knowing what's coming? I think I like the mixture, personally, but um, zebras, possibly. Well, this is a very, very fun picture. I will say this about it. I will say this as a clue, actually. It's very, very likely that you have looked upon the composition of this image before. You've seen this picture before in your life. It's likely you have. It's likely you have. There's no guarantee. I can't guarantee you have, but I think it's likely that you have. Okay, through here. Starry night, not quite, not quite. You see, although you may have seen this picture before, there's a catch, a catch 22. Something that you haven't seen, something new, something fresh, an idea I had or I got from a man I was just talking to. And so you might think, I'm looking for a picture. But maybe, maybe the reason I'm so excited is that I am, in a small way, gonna catch you off guard. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit in Victoria's camp. It's kind of fun to trick you guys. It's a pity uh, John isn't here because he is the reigning champion of guessing. <laughs> okay. Making good ground. Strange material. Um, it's egg tempera. And so since it's egg tempera, it's really important that we use something hard, a surface like a board. If you don't use a hard surface, if you use something softer, over time, as the egg tempera actually exists on the panel, it'll stand to actually crack as the actual support flexes. Now we don't want that. We want it to stay strong on the surface. So, 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 so. Harder things. Stone, wood, in this case, masonite. I find masonite the best. This is coming from a person who's trialed most of the things you can use. I've tried actually putting a huge amount of um, binders onto canvas to the point that the canvas actually gets almost solid and tried to do that. But honestly, it doesn't compete with a board because the board's quite nice in 
its ever so mild ability to flex. See this? That movement is good, because when I push too hard, it moves out of the way. Hello Davina, how are we doing? Catherine, good to have you here. Guys, we're playing a game. We're playing a game. The game is, guess the picture. First person guess it wins. <laughs> Staring in my paper thin, where the sun ain't got no way to hand. Ooh, do 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 Right, I want some pink, guys. Oh, no, I don't. I want... Okay. We're not going to eat this color. It's this one here. It's called Candium. It's got he this color here's got heavy metals in it. So this is not one to be breathed in. Um, that's why we're using it in liquid form and not uh, solids. There we go. All right, let's get this brush here. Perfect. All right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. On to our Scarlet. Oh, I'm having fun here, guys. I'm having fun. All right, let's get a bunch of this. Mixing this in here. And now we're gonna get this. Oh, it's a potent color. It's a potent color. Let's get this all through here. Staring in my paper thin, where the sun ain't got no end. Da 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 What's he doing? We get a little bit through here. This is the last picture for the evening. Wherever this goes. Um, do, 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 do. Favorite movie. Who can answer that for me? I do have a favorite movie. And it's pretty weird but uh i like it because it encourages that you don't need to be anything more than you currently are to achieve your dreams you need to develop and grow and improve but you are enough and there's a movie that screams that out louder than any other it's an animated movie yeah yes <laughs> victoria's got me <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Kung Fu Panda. And see, one of the beautiful things about this too is the way I paint, we give equal detail to every part of the canvas. And so you've got an inability to look at the areas that I'm creating as focal points and tell me that, ah, that's something important. That's something detailed. That's something this. That's something that. Because everything is getting equal attention. So if you spot it, that means that in this moment in time, your mind, your mind is in sync with mine. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. Here we go. Beautiful. Coming up here. What? Beautiful. So I'll put down that one now. Put down that one. And I want to get. Actually, let's put these both over here. I want, ooh, I want this one. You can't unsee a face. Ah, see, this is a fun thing. 
It's when you can't unsee something, you get yourself locked into a mentality of saying, it is this, it is this, I know I can see it now. I need you to perhaps open your mind and give away the perceptions that you've already got. You don't know how many things that you're seeing as things which may not be the case. I see a woman sitting with legs on the side, left leaning arm with a helmet on. See, this is part of the fun. This is part of the fun. The amount of things that your brain can concoct into reality. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. In some, in some ways, guys, the different realities that we form inside our own minds for what we see are as beautiful, if not more beautiful, than all the crazy things that we can make up, that we are um, sometimes more beautiful than what the actual reality has to show us. Okay, there we go. Mix this in. Ultramarine. Dark, powerful, strong color. Strong color, full intensity. There we go. Splash this up through here. Nice. A bit more. Let's get this. Yeah, nice. There we go. Yes. Exactly like that. That's exactly where I want that color to be. Okay, come on down here. Work with me, work with me. You can see the pigment that we're adding in is getting stronger. We're defining things now. We're not throwing around colors as crazily. We're allowing things to start taking their form. We want form in this picture. Pulling it out step by step, but it is form that we want. There we go, beautiful. Coming on down here, lovely, there, lovely, a bit more, beautiful. And then we're gonna come across through here, nice. This whole thing, nice. Up to the top here, this whole thing, right up into there. All right. Honey, that's part of the journey. Seriously, shut up. We know why we're... I mean, I'm confused. Um, I may be brushed at the top, but I have no clue. A guy becoming a therapist. We've got some cool ideas coming in. We've got some cool ideas coming in. No, your mind's not broken. It is totally, totally okay not to see anything. Sometimes you won't. And then you might see the most interesting thing of all. Because what I'll say here is you are on your own personal journey. And in that journey, it can be going a bunch of different directions. And that's totally, totally okay. Here we go. There we go, I'm gonna splash a bit of that around there. Perfect. Staring in the paper thins where the sun ain't got nowhere hand. Get that running stuff out of there. There we go. Chickalo, um, dum, ba dum, ba dum. <laughs> that is, that is fresh comment of the day. This guy reminds me of my high school calculus teacher. Put that on t-shirt. Reminding people of their high school calculus teacher since 2023. Let's get that through there. A little bit of this is going to come the whole way through to here. 
beautiful. Coming on down, let's get the whole way in there. And let's get this through here. And this is going to be, once we discover what this is, a really, really interesting method of making you think outside the box with what it might be. Making you think of new perspectives, new angles, new concepts. And by doing so, you allow yourself to expand your mind and consider it from other perspectives. And that, that my friends, is a beautiful thing. Having the privilege to see something from someone else's perspective has been and will always be one of the greatest gifts we can get. Have we got some people who can see it? If you've seen it, um, keep it, keep, if you can see it, if once you've seen it, you definitely have seen it. If you've seen it, please keep it to yourself. Everyone's on their own individual journey. If they get there, if you get there before them, congratulations. <laughs> Try not to give it away with any clues too obvious. Let them go on their journey. Let them go on their journey. If you've seen it, you've seen it. And I'm proud of you, congratulations. But let the next person go on their journey. Maybe someone, maybe someone in the audience who's just like, I know his painting style, I know exactly what he's doing now. I've got him. I've got this boy on lock. Da -da -da -dun -dun -dun. We got a few people who say, no, they can see it now. <laughs> so I like, I, I see you, you tricky boy. How dare you? How dare you be so tricky? But like I say, let each person go on their own individual journey. And that's what's exciting about it, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, it's totally fine. You're not wrong. You're not bad. You're not weird. You have a different mind. It works in a different way. If you've seen it early, well, there may be other pictures that you see late that other people see early we're just all designed a little bit different we're calibrated differently we spot different things we see different icons if we're all the same art wouldn't exist remember that if we're all the same art wouldn't exist i mean that i want to say it again in case some of you missed it the first two times i said it if we were all the same art would not exist at all period all right, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's put this down here. Um, okay, 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 okay. We need to get, first that off out of there. I need to get, yeah, green. It's, ooh, is that green enough? It's probably green enough actually, guys, this tealy color. Use this to start with. There we go. Beautiful. It's lovely. Two drips there. A little bit there. And then we can get this and carve out a little path through here. There we go. All right. Kind of trippy going blind. Yeah. This is, guys, once you see it, once you see it, now bear in mind, this is not my idea. I've given this idea 
from a guy in this office space I work with. And that's why other people being around are important. They change the way you think. They show you new things that you hadn't even considered. I hadn't even considered this as a possible option. And now here we are doing it. Wild. <laughs> We got another person who can see it. Trust me guys, like I say, once you see it, you, get, you have it, trust me. There is no, there's no ifs or buts. You will know when you have it. It'll just look too much like it. You'll be like, oh, oh. well done. <laughs> okay, it's just the click, it's just clicks. I'm looking and looking then, damn, got it. Oh, geez. This is fun, guys. This is interactive. I like this. This is, this is fun for me too. Um, for the obvious reasons that those who have found it know. It's um, stimulating in that sense. There we go. There we go, a couple little bits there, and then we're gonna get one little bit there, There's a couple of blips there, a couple of blips here, and then we're gonna get in there, nice. And then we're gonna come down in here, nice, 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 okay. Slowing down a little bit, we need to pick up the pace a little bit. There we go, and then we're gonna come onto this face, or not. Merman, Dad, Merman. Are you copying real artists? Shouldn't copy, I never copy. Interesting you say that. Funnily enough, when it comes to being a real artist, um, whose definition are we talking about? Who defines what a real artist is and what's their right to do so? Art's a form of expression. And the guys who did cave paintings, um, although they didn't have the beasts right there in front of them, they're definitely real artists. But no one needed to tell them they were real artists in order to do that. If you want to use a reference picture, please use one. For me, I personally do use one. If I don't use one, I go too crazy, too creative and too wild. And the reference picture angers me to the spot. So, 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 please, 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 don't let anyone out there, if the conversation starter is you need to do this to be a real artist, please turn off to the conversation. I doubt what's coming from it is gonna be a helpful conversation. There we go. Not mean to be hard on you, by the way. I love the fact that you came in here and joined in. Hello, Brittany. Okie dokie, let's get back out that white. Um, and white and black, last two colors, last two colors. And then we stop. White and black. <laughs> All right. Let me undo that there. Coming on forward, guys. Who's ready? Who's ready? You're right. 
It is Jeremy Allen White from the Bear. <laughs> oh dear. Who did I get? Who just figured out what it is? It's uh, pretty fun. Pretty fun. So the concept there, and one thing you'll notice it's very interesting about constructing faces like that, is there's elements in the face that you spot, namely the shadows, but you don't get so caught up in making the face a perfect face shape because you're noticing the objects around it. So you'll notice that the cheek line here isn't defined, it merges into the background because those two colors are very similar in our picture. Now, if you're wondering who Jeremy Allen is, this is the picture we were just painting. That's what you were looking at. That's what I was looking at. And then we rotated for plow. All right, and that's our fun little game. So the reason why we've done that and we've gone for an upside down work this time, an upside down work is because one thing we can start doing is thinking a shape is what it is. We just demand it to be something in our own psychology. And it can be really, really fun to have that belief shaken, to think that actually, in this case, very basic, flip it upside down, flip it upside down. And uh, the other way, the other way it can happen is just simply in life, seeing things from different people's perspectives. So, fun little metaphor there. Um, how do you price when you do things so quickly? Glynis, this one's not for sale. Um, this is play, we play. When you play, um, make sure you don't have intentions to sell or to present and things like that. Lose yourself in the process and enjoy it. Um, <laughs> hey, Aquacat. In terms of pricing, every artist goes on their own journey, Glynis. You've got journeys through some artists charging large amounts for their name. Um, large artists who put lots of mental energy in doing shorter periods of time. Some artists who use craft to slowly yeah. meticulously build up layers. Um, some artists who use very expensive materials. You'd be like, ugh, who's that? Jeff Koons. Jeff Koons' work cost so much that he actually made losses on his first, few sa first sales to get his art out there. And other people who uh, have less cost and resources um, but would sell who they are. So for example, artists who work with um, sand art can't sell a sand painting, can't be done, but you can invite them to an event to talk about or to display or to make art with people. So that's fantastic. At the end of the day, I can't tell you, but there is a good book called Art Money Success. The name could be off-putting to an artist who doesn't believe money's a core thing. Please don't think that's what this book's all about. It's by Maria Brophy, she's an absolute legend. I love her to bits, I've never met her in person but the book writes about actually understanding yourself as an artist and how to do that properly. So, have you seen the artist at the mount up the 880,000 of Monganui? I'm not sure, but that's fantastic, Robert. Look, and like I'll say, you don't need to buy my artwork. If you're inspired, and wherever you live in the world, take that inspiration and you can take it all over the show. You can take it into your own craft. You can take it into um, usually a great place, a farmer's market. If there's the right people there, they're putting love into what they make and you can get involved in that too. And that's a wonderful thing. Um, I'll just pause this here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Coming on down, coming on down. Naya, you don't want to do art like me. You don't want to do art like me. You want to do art like you. And that's where Picasso said, um, bad artists copy, good artists steal. You have so much more potential to be a better you than I could ever copy. And so if you copy me, you'll just be an iteration of me. Or if we copy Picasso, we'll just be another Picasso but like someone trying to be, like a Monet duplicate. You won't be the real Monet, but you can be the next. And grab that name again, Naya. I can see Naya. And Naya can look at this and go, I see what Sib's doing there. I'll take the elements that work for me. I'll shed the elements that don't. And now I'm gonna make, go on my own journey of self-improvement 
creativity to fulfillment and whatever direction it might take you. But you don't need um, to be me to go there. You can do it as the best you. My style's messy, guys. My style's crazy. It's primal. It's chaotic. Yeah, it's what I do. But people who work with dots, I love dots. Damien Hurst does dots. People who work with giant long strokes, people who work on tablets and build up many layers, people who do digital art, performance art, sculpture with clay. Is this any less important? This is all different. Find what makes you, you. Expand on it, grow it. It'll be the best thing you ever find. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, guys. I'm about to hit the track. It's been an absolute pleasure spending the time I did with you. Um, we had a great time slowly applying paint to the last few layers on our uh, couple's portrait. And now, we've just had a wild time splashing around some paint to make Kami's face from the bear. I know, I know it's fun. I know it's fun. We'll do more. We're painting basically every day. And um, upcoming, guys, sorry, AG, upcoming is going to be a schedule. <laughs> Cheers, Brittany. Um, a schedule we actually will know when we're going live. And hopefully, in the schedule, we can even have events. So when I say events, we can do things like fun things like guess the painting, or I can tell you what commission I'm going to be working on that day. And so you can look at it and think, ah, oh, yeah, I'll join that, or um, no, I'll do Thursday. You know what I mean? So... Depending on how you work. It might work. Anyway, schedule on the way. Until then, wherever you are in the world, have a great day or a great night. Absolute honor having you here with me and wishing you all the best, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.